She did start against Baylor back on February the 21st. Went two innings in that ball game, giving up three hits and two runs. Only one of those was earned. Face just pound junior. Bunted towards the first base side. Brett Johnson picks it up. He's only got one play. That's the shuffle at underhand to. Mild symptoms of a concussion on Sunday on a ball that was deflected off his helmet, hit on the ground. Fair ball down into the left field corner. Coates heading around first. He'll make it the second, standing up. Fourth double of the year for Coates, and the Horn Frogs have a runner in scoring position here in the first. Nice hit there by Coates, able to keep it just inside of the bag on the third base side. And now with that double, Jason Coates is now the Horn Frog all-time leader in doubles. He now has 60 doubles all-time for the Horn Frog. So congratulations to Jason Coates, the Frog's all-time doubles leader. Hit sharply right back through the middle base hit. Well, Jarek Suter was recruited to be a pitcher. He was drafted out of high school in Indiana from Valparaiso as a pitcher. Did catch as we take another look at the ball right back through the middle and uh, played some outfield as well, but it was really as a pitcher where he kind of made a name for himself. He's four for 23. Hitting just 174. Up now with a chance to give the Horn Frogs the lead here with two outs and two on. In the bottom of the second, hits it sharply through the hole, right side, base hit. Rounding third and heading home is Brett Johnson. The throw is in time and Johnson is tagged out as getting to the ball, Logan Brown, he got it back in a hurry. Johnson's erased at the plate and that will do it for the Horn Frogs. Also with good speed, he's four for four in stolen bases, so Horn Frogs want to keep him off base, especially to start off an inning. Fisted towards short, Keaton Jones comes up with it, gets it to first, and a nice play by Brett Johnson to dig that one out of the dirt. And Keaton skipped that ball over there. He didn't probably do it intentionally, but it helped get the ball there quicker by skidding off the grass as we take another look at it. When Lawton Langford with very good speed, very nice throw by Keaton Jones. Now just 148 for the year. Got off to a hot start. Out at Cal State Fullerton. This one's looped down the left field line. Fair ball. It's going to go all the way into the corner. Odell heading for a second. He'll make it standing up. An opposite field double for Derek Odell. Let's start the Horn Frog third. That's the first double of the year for Odell as we take another look at it. And Odell with a nice hit, able to drive this one down the line, just keep it fair. And Odell with some nice speed, able to get in to second base with a stand-up double. Good piece of hitting by Odell. Didn't try to do much with that pitch over the outside part of the plate. Just went with it, served it up right down the left field line. Coach hits it right back through the middle base hit. Odell is going to be held up by Randy Mazey as Vic got to the ball quickly. On the throw home, Coates goes to second, and now there are runners at second and third for the Horn Frogs with nobody out. Tui at third, also even with the bag. They'll look back the runners and try to get it out at first without a run scoring. The outfield, of course, all fanned out straight away. In the air towards right field and deep. This one's driving Logan Brown back. Reaches up, makes the catch. The throw will go to second. Odell tags and scores. We're tied at one. Sacrifice fly for Matson, and a run batted in as the righty does his job. We'll take another look at it. Matson with his second RBI of the year. Got the ball deep enough. And because Logan Brown had a backpedal, no chance to throw out Odell who tags immediately and heads home with the tying run. And Steve Smith comes out of the dugout. And he's been a fixture in the outfield for the Horn Frogs since his freshman year. Had maybe one of the biggest hits of all time for the Horn Frogs as a freshman in the regional. Pitched it 
Logan Vick sky towards left center field. Jarek Suter moves over to make Second. the catch. And uh, he was able to get out of it. This one's lined right back through the middle. Base hit with Jarek Suter. With his second hit of the ball game, he's been on base three times. With a one-out single here, and it will bring up Brett Johnson. Johnson struck out his last time up as we take another look at this ball right back through the middle. Suter jumping all over that fastball. Bell tie and just rocketed right back from where it came. He's aboard now. For Baylor. Two out. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him. Down on strikes goes Logan Brown, but the Bears send nine men to the pull them just a little bit closer, trailing by two. This one's looped towards left field. On the run, Logan Vick, the dive, not in time. A run scores. Coach will be stopped at third, or check that, Odell will be stopped at third. Matson's in the second base with an RBI single. Become the Frogs all-time leader in doubles with 60. They dearly love just a single right here. One-two pitch. Coates lines it towards right, slicing away from the right fielder. It drops in for a base hit. One run scores. Here comes Gonzalez. He'll score. And TCU leads it 6-4 on the RBI base hit off the bat of Jason Coates. He tried to go that way in the eighth, just missed an extra base hit. Picks up a huge single for the Horn Frogs here as he drives in two. And TCU has a two run lead as we take another look at it. Stayed right on the breaking ball and just shot it into right field. That one very similar to the one that he just missed. Back in the seventh inning and this one Stays fair and drives in two runs. Jason Coates, Chuck, this is what we talked about. This is why Jason Coates decided to stay here this year. He delivers big time for the Frogs. Runners still at the quarters for TCU. The Frogs with a two-run lead here in the, here in the bottom half of the eighth. Their Frogs have come back to take a 7-4 lead. There go the runners. The pitch is lined in the right field. Base hit. Coates scores. Here comes Matson. He scores, and it's now a 9-4 TCU lead. Two RBIs for Suter. He now has four on the year, and the Horn Frogs have broken this game wide open. As you take another look at the line drive base hit off the bat of Jarek Suter. Runners at the corners for TCU, and the batter will be Axel Johnson for the Horn Frogs as he is sent up to pinch hit. Resnick pinch hit earlier in the inning. Walked as you take a look at Matson scoring from second. He was lifted deep in the bag. Just couldn't throw strikes in the eighth inning and let the game get away from them. Bouncer, this should do it. Coming on, Odell, he's got it. Goes to first, ball game over. In the ninth inning for Baylor, no runs, no hits, nobody left on base. The Horn Frogs have come back to win this one by a final.